Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to take a quiz that maybe you've created before we started using Schoology, or it can be also any kind of handout, quiz, test, assessment, you name it, and how to put it into Schoology so that we can digitize it and have uh, Schoology be able to grade, if not all of it, at least a good part of it. Okay, so what I have here, I have a sample quiz that I created in uh, Microsoft uh, Word, but I could do this in Pages. I could also do it in uh, Google Doc. doesn't matter. And you'll notice I have it set up here. I've got numbers for the questions and then letters for the uh, answers. And I've created this uh, using the automatic uh, formatting for numbers and letters and all that kind of good stuff. So it's just created a a straight simple document here like this. Okay, so I've got this. I'm going to go ahead and and select the quiz part of the um, of this document. I'm not going to select that uh, the title of the quiz. And so I'm going to come over here into Chrome, and I'm going to go to a website which is uh, www.csi.edu/blackboard slash bb quiz slash and don't worry about that I'll, I'll have this uh, this address up uh, for for you all to go to basically this is a blackboard quiz generator and if you want more information you can go ahead and click on this thing here where it says documentation it tells you how to do different types of questions but basically I'm going to put in here name of my quiz and remember I, I created or excuse me, I copied uh, the quiz questions and answers from my uh, Microsoft Office document. So I'm going to go ahead and paste them in here. And there's a couple things we need to do here. Uh, first of all, we need to create a space in between each question. Uh, if we don't, it's going to treat it like it's one long question. So I should have six here. And you can find this out real quickly. If you click on Create Quiz, it'll say down here at the bottom, your test seems to have six questions. All right. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go through here, and we need to do a little bit more formatting in order for this to come over to Schoology correctly. First of all, I'm going to, um, next to the correct answers, before the letter of the correct answer, I'm going to put an asterisk. So for my first question, what is the capital of Ohio? I'm going to put an asterisk in front of B for Columbus. Now this next question is a bit of a tricky question. And for some reason, the test generator is not working. And we're going to go in and fix this in Schoology a little bit later. But this actually has multiple correct answers. And so I'm just going to choose the first one uh, and give it, uh, put like a, a, I'm going to put an asterisk in front of the letter A from McKinley on which presidents are, were from Ohio. And we're going to go through there. We realize that there's actually probably three other presidents in there from Ohio. Now, down here, this true-false thing, I'm going to get rid of the A for true-false. All right? And so it'll treat that like a true-false question. It'll come in, Cardinal is the state of bird of Ohio. I should actually put some ending punctuation there. Now this next one here, it's a special kind of question. This is a fill-in-the-blank question. And so in order for the test generator to realize that that's a fill-in-the-blank question, I'm going to type in the word blank in front of the question. So B-L-A-N-K space and then 4, 2 plus 2 equals. And you'll notice down here I have two answers. I'm, what you need to do with uh, fill-in-the-blank questions is to put in all possible answers for this. So I've typed out the number four, or the word four, and I've typed the number four in there. This next one is a matching. Match the capital with its state. And so like before, I had to tell it that there was a blank, I fill in the blank question. This is a match question, so I'm going to type in match. And the way I formatted the questions was I put the question, the state capital, then the a uh, slash, a forward slash, and then the state that goes next to it. 
And again, then this last one here is going to be a um, an essay question. So I'm just going to say, tell me your life story. All right. And I'm going to click create quiz again because I've done some uh, I've done some more formatting. And so I'm going to click. Then it says the uh, the package is available here. And so I'm going to click on this, and it will either download to your downloads folder or to your desktop, depending on where you have uh, downloads going. Mine go out to the desktop, and so it creates a file called dbquiz.zip. We need to leave it, leave it in that format, the zip format. So I'm going to pop on over here to a Schoology course, and I've created a quiz. And so I'm going to go in here, but I don't have any questions in there yet. And so I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to add a question. And so. One of the options down here is to import a test or quiz. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on that. And the type, I'm going to import it from Blackboard. Remember, this was a Blackboard quiz generator. And then I'm going to click Next. And it's hard to see, but we need to find the file. So I'm going to click on this little file icon. And there it is out there on my desktop. And I'm going to click Open. And then import. And if we did this right, we should have six questions, which we do. Now, there are some things here, and you're going to want to come in here and do this. Right now, it says that there's this is worth six points. Well, I want this quiz to be worth 30. When I went in to create the quiz, I said I want this to be worth 30 points. And so I'm going to come in here and look at each one of these questions. And it's a good idea to do this. That way, you can make sure that it came in correctly. And you see here that it says that Columbus is the correct question or answer. And I'm going to click in here and say randomize the choices, save the questions, and go on. Now this next question, remember there are multiple correct answers. And so here's where I can come in here and choose Hayes and Harding and Garfield. And since there are four correct answers, I'm going to choose four points. I'm going to randomize the choices and I'm going to allow for partial credit and then save that. Now let's take a look, and again, we just want to take a look and make sure that these are set up correctly. It says that my correct answer is true. Good, got it. I'm going to keep going. 2 plus 2 equals, so we're going to come in here. What does it say? Aha, it didn't bring in the letter, the number 4, so I'm just going to go ahead and answer that. So it's always good to go back in there and make sure that you that this came in correctly. See, that's why we double check. Match the state capital with its state. We're going to come in here and edit this. And it looks like those were all brought in correctly, but there were five questions here, so I'm going to make this worth five points and allow for partial credit and save that question. And now the last one is a short answer or essay question, and I'm going to make this worth, I believe, I have to make it worth 18 points. If I had a rubric, I could attach a rubric there if I wanted to. Uh, then click Save the Question, and you'll see up there, now it's worth 30 points. i got six questions, and uh, now I'm ready to make this available for my students if I want to. This is a great way uh, to bring in all sorts of your work that you've created uh, from previous uh, years. You don't have to recreate it inside of Schoology. You just have to format it correctly and then bring it in. All right. So thank you very much. That's, uh, uh, that's importing a test or a quiz from previous years. Thank you very much for watching.